Hello and welcome, welcome to this video. It's a follow up to the triage video I did recently where I triaged eight of these Milwaukee M18 batteries. This is number one, which is a logical place to start. And as you may or may not remember if you watched the video, not 0.14 volt is what this is showing. Which I can tell you for an 18 volt battery is not very high. As you may or may not remember as well, there was no screws in this one. And we had ascertained that this battery had all those cells. There were um, there was some voltage, a fraction of a volt, in all the cells. Which gives me encouragement, believe it or not, because it means that this battery might well be recoverable without any cell replacement without any board replacement it might be recoverable you could use the crude method of the jump start but recently if you've seen my videos you'll realize that that can sometimes harm the cells when it brings them up we can overheat them and they stop functioning the fuel safe fires you know with all that said the safe method of voltage recovery is this, the ninth app programmable DC power supply. And the voltage is, you can set the voltage to anything you want. We'll set it to 17 and a half because that's what, that's within the chargeable range. From 17 and a half to 20, just slightly over 20 volts is what these packs operate within. If it falls below, far below, six, 15, falls down to 15 or 16, far below, like um, 17, you're not going to get a battery that's going to function, you're not going to get a battery that's going to charge. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description for this if you want to own one of these. Very useful if you are running a few power tool batteries and sometimes you leave them lying, maybe over a holiday or over, um, over some time you're not using them. They can fall below chargeable voltage by themselves if you put them away maybe discharged. So what we do is we connect the red to the positive, as you would imagine, and the black to the negative. And if you need any reference when you're doing this to do it right, you can look at the top of the pack, you can see the plus there and the minus there. So that shows you where they are. You don't need to open the pack to try this, but you can open the pack to tell you what's going on with the cells. If one of these cells was zero and the rest of them were four, or the rest of them were three and a half, this wouldn't work. Um, this one has a chance of working because they're all showing some voltage and it's all low and it's all fairly equal. So we're going to hit the button now and you should see a certain amount of dampage going in. It should be high and then as it goes to 17 it should get lower. There you, are. you see the voltage going up. I mean, she's bringing up the voltage quite quickly. Uh, four amps get in. Um, this shouldn't take very long. You see it get up. It's giving it a full blast. And importantly, it's not heating up the cells the way it would with, uh, with connecting another battery to it. That can work. If you're out in, if you're out in the job, you're in the job site and you have a problem with your battery and you don't know what you're doing you can try that to get you out of, out of the problem and try and get a battery that's functioning for you to get the job done but I don't recommend it in a workshop environment I recommend that you own one of these and you'll notice the amps dropping that means we're coming closer to our destination of 17.5 so as soon as that drops down to less than an amp we're going to test the voltage of the battery and we're going to try it on the charger we can do a preliminary test where we're waiting just to see how the voltage is doing see if we can get the, the meter in here so you can see it if we go to the positive and negative parts of the battery we can see she's she's showing over 17 volts already but if we switch off the power supply that'll go down a little bit because she's reading some of the voltages coming in she's just 
it'll drop down maybe to 17 and a half we're, we're getting quite near you know so you can see that came from 0.14 to 17 and a half quite quickly or 17.9 as it's shown and if that was jump started you'd be able to actually feel the heat of the battery but the cells are all cool there's 10 of these type of cells this 18650 this is a low milliamp hour but don't let that upset you that's for these are the 3 amp battery but it's the same it's an 18650 cell and there's a positive end there's a negative end and if you overheat that cell there's a little connection that is designed to sever here to cut off the uh, cut off the power coming out so you actually it actually deactivates the cell if you overheat them so you can actually do more harm than good by the jump start you can take 10 very low good cells and kill four of them i know because i've done it before myself if your battery's sitting at 15 14 15 volts and it's all those cells you might get away with a jump start you usually would you know but these are exceptionally low and that's why this is much preferable right i'm going to do a volt check now i'm going to just stop the output that stops the power going in and i'm going to do a quick volt check just to see where we're at we're only at 16 there with the volts off you know so we're going to keep going we'll keep going until that drops down to near zero so I'm going to stop the camera now and then we'll come back to this. As you can see there's just over one amp got into the battery now. Which I would suspect means that it's um, getting near its voltage. The 17.5 that we require or over 17 at least. So the very next step we have to take is again switch her off there. Switch off the output. That doesn't switch off the machine but it switches off her putting the output to the battery. And we've got 17.6 odd volts. It is dropping, which is worrying. But we'll just switch that off. Put the top on. And put her straight on the charger. Just to see if we have a result. So I need to leave that on a while, but... And we won't know for some time if it's been a full success but it's boding well she's showing the charging light yes yeah, she's showing the charging light so we'll have to leave it some time to see if that takes but you know it's boding well it's showing actually the bars there so if there was cells that didn't recover we didn't check that it usually would give you the what i call the milwaukee christmas the flashing red and green alternate lights but that hasn't happened I would say this when you do recover a battery whether with a jump start which I don't recommend or this which I do recommend this is power supply you need to leave the battery probably 24 hours after you, after you charge it just to make sure the cells are going to be okay because I've been through that especially if the, the jump start you can recover and feel that are on. If you want to see the original triage video, I'll try and link it here in the description and the comments section. Also, I'll put a link for this um, this power supply, this Amazon link for that. Also, there's no way of knowing the short term if this is going to recover. There's no wild heat coming into the battery. That's a good sign. I'll probably just have to continue to charge it and uh, I can let you know in the next one when I do battery 2 I'm going to do battery 2 in another video I'll we'll just take this off the charge for a second don't try this at home because there's no screws in this one there never was any screws in this one since I got it so I'll keep the battery together so for the sake of the video I'm calling that fixed but we'll find out next time if the fix took so if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.